Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Hope you're having a great day today. It's a beautiful day here in Alabama. And um, I've been busy shipping out cookbooks this morning. I'm, I am uh, working very hard and trying to stay on top of it. But uh, this morning, I wanted to share with you what we're going to have tonight to eat. Now, I'm going to tell you that I have my favorite chicken casserole, but there are others that I like just as well. And this is one that um, my daughter shared with me. She had gotten it off of uh, internet, and she said her son loves it. Griffin, the one that's still at home, loves it. So I'm going to share that with you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my stove on and then it's called um, a chicken riceroni casserole. And of course, you're gonna start off with a box of chicken riceroni. But the first thing that we're gonna do is put two tablespoons of butter. And I use real butter in mine. And when that melts, I'm gonna do just what it says on the back of the box, which is in a large skillet, combine butter and the rice mix. Saute until the rice is golden brown, stirring frequently. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I will do a lot of pausing in this video today because I'm gonna show you the different steps of it. I've been getting a, uh, a lot of messages from you saying that um, you kind of feel like family when we're cooking. And you know, it's funny because I kind of feel like I'm cooking for family. Y'all are so, so sweet. Your comments have just made my, my day every time I read them. And um, Harold is doing great. Let me get a rack. I just made a mess. Got a little butter on me. When I finish this, I'll put some baby powder on it. Did you know that, um, you probably did know that if you have a grease spot and you'll put a little baby powder on it and leave it, that soaks up the grease. But I got it right on my sleeve, so that won't really matter. Okay, the butter has melted just all but just a smidgen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice in. And then all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna stir that around until it gets a golden brown. Let me turn my phone a little bit. Okay, that's my rice box. But you know, Harold had um, rotator cuff surgery. It'll be three weeks Wednesday. And he's really doing great. He's just not sleeping at night, but I think I've heard that that's very normal. But he's um, doing therapy and I've lost my helper when it comes to packaging the books, but that that's okay. I'm getting them out and uh, It'll be good. Turn that heat up just a little bit. I get a lot of people wanting to know how our baby Blake is doing. And he is really doing well. He's up to about four pounds and 10 ounces. And the 10th of this month, he'll be three months old. Now, I know some of you say, well, he's almost five pounds, so he'll be coming home soon. Normally he would, but Blake has some things that uh, they're going to have to make sure he can do before he comes home. He has a, a cleft palate. His little lips are perfect. But he has a, a small hold, hole in his cleft palate, or in his palate, 
and they're going to have to make sure that he can um, suck through a special nipple in order to take formula, and they haven't even started that yet. He can have surgery when he's older for that, but right now he can't. But you know, he's our miracle, and I wouldn't take anything in the world for him. And I'll tell you, I was, I was just thinking as I was talking about him, the last time I shared so much about him, someone sent me a message that they didn't want to hear all about my family. So if you don't want to hear about my family, just go ahead and unfollow me because my family means everything to me. But anyway, this is getting golden brown. I'm going to just give it just another minute. And then we will add the, it, it says to add two and a half cups of water and the seasoning mix that was in the box of rice aroma. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see for the steam, but it's, it's getting golden brown. Once I add that to it, I will bring it to a boil and then I have to cook it. Um, after I cover it, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes. That's when I'm going to pause while it's doing that. Then I'll show you the next step. Okay, we're ready for the, for the water. I have two cups in this mixing cup. And a half a cup here. And then, here is the seasoning mix. Okay. I can smell it has that chicken flavor to it. Um, sort of like if you've had those little crackers that are called chicken a biscuit. That's what it smells like to me. Okay, it has come to a boil. I'm gonna put a lid on it and I'm gonna let it simmer on low for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, the rice aroni has simmered for 16 minutes is what it was, and it's just good and tender. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to mix the casserole. Let me see if I can. All right. I'm going to pour all of my rice aroni in my big mixing bowl. I might could have mixed it in the skillet. But I wasn't for sure, and I thought, better just go ahead and, and put it in my mixing bowl. All right. Got it all. Okay. Set this back here. Okay. To that mixture, I'm going to put a can of cream of chicken soup. Yes, I will. One cup of sour cream. And if some of you are wondering, you could use yogurt. My preference is sour cream. But you can use yogurt if you don't want to use sour cream. All right. I'm going to mix this real good. And to that mixture, I'm just, I cooked three chicken breasts. They were pretty good sized chicken breasts this morning. I just cooked it in, in some water until they were done and then I shredded it. And it calls for four cups 
of chicken. You could use rotisserie chicken. If you wanted, you could use canned chicken, but of course I think the, the chicken that you cook is the best. Okay? This is gonna make a big nine by 13. So I will probably send some of it to uh, my grandson who lives next door since he loves it. Of course, I could freeze half of it. I really could. That would be good. It freezes well. All right. I think you can see. I'm getting used to my my camera holder, it does help me so much. Okay, now let me lift it back up. I have sprayed my nine by 13 casserole with some Pam. And all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get my other spatula, it gets it out so much better is put this in the dish. This is gonna be so good. I think tonight I'm gonna open a jar of my green beans that I canned this summer and we're gonna have this rice -a chicken casserole with the green beans and it's gonna be so good now if you wanted to add anything to this that you might like that's my oven heating up it's ready good timing you could add um you know you may want to add you some water chestnuts to give it a little crunch but it is good just like it is okay the last thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna cover it with onion rings. I think you can see it. All right, you're just gonna sprinkle these over the top. You know, the chicken uh, biscuit bubble up that we did, I can't remember the exact name, but bubble up chicken, we had, uh, I think that was the one. I make several chicken casseroles. I like chicken, and I like it different ways, and this has the rice already in it. Oh, Scout, you got your treat over there. Okay. That's ready. And now we're just gonna put it in our oven, 350 preheated for 30 minutes. So let me put it in the oven. and set my timer for 30 minutes. It's ready, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, after 30 minutes, I took the casserole out of the oven. This is what it looks like. I'm going to spoon me just a little bit. It's very hot, but I'm gonna get just a little bit so I can show you. What it looks like. It has the rice in it and the chicken. That's a meal right there, but I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm gonna cook a a jar of my canned green beans. <clears throat> Let me taste this for you. You're gonna like that. That's about as easy as you can get right there. I will put the recipe um, up after the video and then it, it will also be where you can find it under my photos there's an album recipe box recipe cards 
And that's where I'm putting all the recipes for this. Y'all, I just appreciate you more than you know. I'm still getting the cookbook orders, and if you want to know how to order, go to my page. It will be the very first post. It'll t give you all the information how to order. And yes, I will take a check, and the information is there for that. But anyway, <clears throat> I hope that you are encouraged. I hope that you know that you're not junk. If I feel like somebody needs to be told that you are good. You are worthy. God doesn't make any mistakes when he makes us. And if you will just put your eyes on him, take your eyes off of the bad things that's happening in this world, and you be salt and you be light wherever you go and let others see Jesus in you. I'll be back soon.